expectation of New Year's is just always falls flat. Lexi here. So Thanksgiving and Christmas have come and gone and we've all put in our time with our loved ones. That's what we're supposed to do during the holidays. We're supposed to put in time with our loved ones. Put in time, overeat, and answer a million questions from grandma. And if you're lucky, at the end of it, you get some presents to open. So now, my friends, we look to the new year. New Year's, that holiday. Everyone knows that you're supposed to have an epic New Year's Eve party, because if you don't, who knows what could happen? Why do we do this to ourselves? Why? Why do we set the bar so high for New Year's? In my experience, I've never had an epic New Year's. Let's see, one year my good friend slipped on a driveway, so we ended up spending New Year's in a hospital. She slipped on a driveway. Who slips on a driveway? Another year I spent New Year's in an airport. That, my friend, is depressing. And last year Hunter and I had a pretty cool party. But by the end of the night, I was cleaning up gummy bears from underneath the couch. They had hair on them. Gross. I'm here to tell you that New Year's Eve doesn't have to be fabulous. Let's take the pressure off of ourselves to go somewhere fabulous because we all know we overate and getting into a dress feels like a lot of work right now. And the idea of spending a buttload of money on a night that is overhyped seems criminal. Like really, I feel robbed. Stand strong with me as I underhype New Year's Eve. It can only go up from here. Go ahead and put on your comfy pants and order that pizza and watch Bridget Jones's Diary and go to bed early because you deserve it. You deserve a break. Or if you want, you could totally come and watch mine and Hunter's stream on New Year's Eve. We're gonna order pizza. Okay, I'll see you there. Spent time with our loved ones, and that's what we're supposed to do during the. Ho Blech.